the last race of the day, the big race of the Sedgefield season. It's the Irish Cherry Chase Gold Cup Hunters Chase. Two miles six underground up well, grabs. Kate Vinci with Hollywood, Robin Nats, Patrick Ogan, Tuppers Boots, Potable Racing, Anto Ordis Knight and Leiden, Olive Oil, Mark Cooper, Sam Owls of Fate, Alton Bridge's last two wins, Devon Acker, Percy, Hollywood, Violet Norway, Alex Cherry, along with Passive Saratoga, and Mark Cooper's Green Oak Islander, nine winners underground, up for grabs, and orders and off. And the top hunter chases is still there by Mark Cooper on 4 3 Derek Inton, Alex Cherry, James Shea, 2 Patrick Organ, 1 Joshua Sullivan, 1 Daniel French, 1 Martin Lee, and 1 David Robinson. A lot of those are all trainers are now. Don't have any hunters at the moment. I've lost one there, and it's mine. Tough as boots. Oh, he's a weak horse. He's not tough at all. And hand orders. It's Kaplan's clear. There you go, underground mason gone at the first bit. It's just painful to watch. Well, being a frustrated trainer as I am, they jumped that one. Good jump with Kate Swinchy there, took him closer to the leader. And the hoarders for Martin Leiden. The red rum colours, famous colours of course, they swing left handed. And hand orders by two lengths from Kate Swinchy, Violet's no weighty. Uh, olive oil. I might find this course tricky. It's on the last two courses tricky. So she have to ride it twice. And they jumped in that one. We all jumped it safely. The back market at the moment is in Diamond Arca Percy. For the Diamond Geezer, this is Derek Hinton. He swing left handy then, and on the far side they go, and under orders, jumps that. Oh, he's gone. He doesn't shift his way. He's actually jumped that one. He hit it on the way up and the jockey was flung over his shoulders, over his neck and over the front. Well, the jockey's alright, that was a really bad fall. For the jockey, not the horse didn't fall, he just unshifted his rider. So that's now left Kate Minchie in the lead for Derek Hinton. From second place, Rabinets. Brian Rabinets is Olive Oil, jumping well today. A couple lengths back to Damanaka Percy. Then can pass if on Saratoga and while it's an already in Greenock Highlander is towards the rear heading towards the next one up the hill and they swing left handed as they do so at the cross fence and Kate Spinchy on the inside of Oliver they jump that one and then comes the Rabinets in third the Daima Percy past the Saratoga making ground on the outside and now it goes fourth uh, the diamond marker Percy on the inside green island has one behind while well, they jump the ditch and that one is Violet's no weighty down what will be last next time round and it's the tenth and Olive Oil they jump nine left, nine left to jump this is the ten fence, they come into it, they jump it and uh, passive Saratoga on the outside just sticks his head in front of Bolivar and in, in between him and on the far side is Kate Winchy. behind these comes Ravenats behind Ravenats is Damanaka Percy then Violet Snow Weighty and Greenock Islander the back marker and towards the other cross fence going away from the stands Jumping it, and the last one at the rear, and that's Greenock Islander. So Mark was down to one in the race, and we're down just to six runners now. He's swinging left handed now, go towards his four on the far side. And Kate Spin, she has a length and a half lead, jumping this one. In second place, stable mate now, Diamond Acker Percy, Brandy's in third, Olive Oil, and then the Cherry Pear Passive, and the Sour Dog, and while it's no weighty. And the back marker and his rubber nuts who drop back a bit but they're still well in touch with the runners so they head towards the next end five pullings from home and Kate Spinchy by a length from Damanaka Percy back in third is passive Saratoga Olive Oil in fourth and then comes the Violets no weighty and rubber nuts it's the back marker they jump in that one and I'll jump to safety gonna go up hill now I'm going to start the court of the cross bent. The third last, this is the 
one on the bend, the cross fence, and Kate's bench is extended lead to two of the stable mate, Damanaka Pearson. These two seem to be going well at the moment, back in third, it's well, it's no way to Oliver on the inside, and then comes the right, it's no way, uh, passive outside, Olga Rabinats, doesn't seem to be running on, but Kate's winch is kicked for one, five lengths, jump in the ditch, she jumped it well, it's still clear, five, six lengths, clear. Oliver all in second, on the inside, it's passive, Sarto, got Dimelak, Percy, on the inside, sorry, back in for these, behind this is Rabinats, there's no running on, but down towards the final fence, and still Kate's winch, she's a couple of them, Clear of Olive Oil in second, jump to this and Kate Finch she jumped in well, but Olive Oil is trying to close on Rabinat is finishing strongly on the outside up towards the line. They go, Kate Finch is gonna hold on, held on by three quarters of the length. Rabinat might have got second close home, I'm sure. The extra fellow or two they've done that one well. But up towards the line, and it's a win for Kate Finch with Derek Hinton. I'll take Derek. On to four with Matt Cooper, top trainer now. Second Olive Oil for Matt Cooper. Rabinats was only third for Patrick Organ. Short head away. Then comes Diamond Aka Percy, Bollywood, and Passive Saratoga for Alex Cherry. That's it for day week three. A week six, sorry. I'll see you next week.